Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! It is me, Mad Mike. We are here live on Facebook with everybody. I, It's me, Mad Mike. We're here at Talks from 205 Live, and with me, as always, is the one and only Sorgatron. How are you, sir? Good, sir. I am ready to talk all the Flippity Cruiserweightness with you tonight, this evening. We are here to talk some flippity gibbets. It's going to be fun. It's oh, gonna be fun my. Oh, what are we doing now? <laughs> all right, Sorg, I have a question for you. Very important question. We ask this all the time. What is your one word for 205 Live? My one word is competitiveness. I'm not sure that is a word. But okay, we will go with it. Alternate word I could use is connect is competitivity. Also, not sure that's a word. But fine. Um it's okay. Inventing words is something our president does, so we're allowed to do it too. <laughs> From the top <laughs> down, sir. From the top down. Yes. Uh my word this week is interviews. Hmm. Yeah, there was a Interviews. few of them. There was a few of them. That's for sure. Yeah, there there were. There definitely were. All right. Uh, so Sorg, what is your good for two hundred five live this week? Uh, my good is uh, certainly that match at the end. Um, the match with uh uh uh, uh sorry, my names are jumbling in my head. Um, Mister Swan and with Teddy Teddy Joystick Perkins. T- Teddy Joystick Perkins and Mister Swan. Oh, I wow, I really need to go with that name with him from now on. Um, Teddy Joystick. No, it was a good match. It was a good match, despite the crowd really not being interested in it. Um, I I, I do enjoy, I I like where this is going. I mean, they were playing video games last week, right? In the middle of this kind of weird feudish thing uh, that we're in. And that it's kind of escalated to the, hey, man, maybe you're not such a great friend, you know? Um, And, uh, and, no, I I just kind of like that natural progression that's been taking. And and the really really good matches in the meantime we've had with it. Yeah, I mean we're getting good matches, but at the same time I don't know where exactly we can move forward with this because it's not like Perkins cheated to win either. No, you're just being a dick about it afterwards. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It's something seems odd about that. To me. All right, you know, I mean this is the I mean to stay with video game metaphors with Teddy Joystick here. Man, that needs to be his name. Um, I mean, how many t- how many times? But you know, you're playing games with your friend, and they just kind of throw it in your face when they beat um, you. Like how um, Xavier Woods has literally made an entire YouTube channel dedicated to that. Okay, okay, th- th- okay. Th- th- there's that. I guess so. So, um, um, no, right, and I, and I get that. You. Yeah, I, I get that. Like, but at the same time, I don't know. I just thought. I wasn't expecting a clean win. And normally I'm totally cool with clean wins. Normally I want all the clean wins possible, but this time it seemed out of place. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, it, it was still a good match. I mean, it was a damn fine match. Um, My good this week is going to go to Neville. 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 Yeah. Just, just interrupting the, the Akira Tozawa interview segment with Corey graves mm-hmm. it, it made me hype for that match it's gonna be on the pre-show even more <laughs> those yeah, poor you, know, bastards. you know you know those poor bastards those poor all poor those bastards. graphics said title match at summerslam mm-hmm. they ain't gonna be on summerslam nope 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 and by the way Corey graves Corey graves just being amazingly over yeah, the, the, he kind of chuckled a little bit with how over he was just sitting in the ring. I, I thought that was kind of funny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I've been really enjoying that. Absolutely. All right. But, uh, Sorg, not every show is perfect. We know this. Mm-hmm. What would be your bad this week for 205 Lizzle? My bad is the promo that we were very interviewlicious on this thing. Like, I enjoyed – I'm looking through the matches on this, and I'm like, I actually enjoyed, like, an aspect of every one of these. Uh, that happened in here, even the Mark Thomas match. Um, but no, I, honestly, I thought the interview was like is is the time where I checked out, and maybe I shouldn't have because maybe I would have enjoyed it a bit more, uh, like it appears you 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 did. Well, I I think it's also due to the fact that we've had 
Neville's been champion for so long now. Mm-hmm. Like, too long. And it's almost hard to care about anyone he's going up against. So I can understand that. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. because he's been feeling with Tozawa for, what, a couple months now? Yeah, I mean, that, it, this feels longer than usual, and maybe because of the new pay-per-view schedule or something, but it's just been a little bit hard to digest. I mean, it doesn't help that Tozawa is not exactly the best um, promo guy. <laughs> no, but, but, but he's got so much going for him with Titus O'Neil and everything, too. Well, yeah, but when we had, like, Neville and Austin Aries talking, 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 then fighting, 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 mm-hmm. That at least may not seem as long. When Neville talks, Tozawa just says, ah, 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 and kicks him in the head. Like, that's basically every segment with them. That's probably why a lot of Asuka's feuds have been like a little, because, you know, it's just a language barrier thing. And it's unfortunate, but. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, my bad this week is. um. I don't know. I, I kind I wanted to give it to to the TJ Perkins winning clean. That was kind of my bad. Like we talked about it a little bit already, but that was my bad basically. Like I didn't. I thought if there was any, if there was ever a time, even just a simple grab of the trunks, you know, just something like that, or like a foot on the rope or something like that. Because that, because then him being a dick afterwards is even healier. Healier? Are we going with that as a word? Hey, if you can make up words, so can I. <laughs> okay. I guess I it's guess for tonight healish. that's allowed. Absolutely. It's more healish. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. Like, again, I, I'm not going to harp on it too much more, but a clean win just seemed wrong for that match. Mm-hmm. It, unless, unless Rich Swan was getting the win, it seemed wrong. Okay. It just seemed wrong. Okay, I can see your uh, point. Yeah. Uh Sorg, what would you change about this week's 205 Live? Um I would give some, Noam Dar somebody even more milk toastier. Milk toastier. All right, so we're just making up words for every second. This is the now. make up the words show this tonight. Yes, indeed. All right. Making up the words. Um what, what was that guy's name again you said before? Mark Thomas. My change is I would have had Mark Thomas win. Jeez, really? No, seriously, that's my change, because he seemed like he was a veteran, and it seemed like Noam Dar like really knew him and was really a fan of his work. And Noam Dar kind of, you know, he doesn't need that win. He doesn't need that win. Also, didn't he seem a little big to be on two hundred five live? Yes, he did. Like, I, I didn't want to say that, but I, like, I, I, it I'm seemed not... like he was two hundred six. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I maybe there's no. Like maybe the enhancement talent, maybe they just don't weigh the enhancement talent. We're like, you're not sticking around. Nobody's gonna check into this. Either that or the enhancement talent lie about their weight. That's true too. That's true. Too. I'd actually, I'd actually really love it if there was because there's no authoritative body on 205 Live that all the enhancement talent lie about their weight. So you get someone that looks like one of the authors of Pain on there. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. How in in what world are you two oh five? And we're like, are we kilos? Does oh, um, kilos work out to that yeah, or yeah. well I'm two hundred five stone. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going by, right? Right, right. Oh, 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 this is pounds? It doesn't say that in the in that's, the in- that's weird. I don't I don't I listen to money. the lyrics to two oh five live and it doesn't say <laughs> pounds, okay? Mm-hmm. There's no spec there's no confirmation. You're that or you get like Find whatever city has a 205 area code, and you can say, oh, yeah, no, that's where I'm from. That's where everyone here is from, right? 205? Represent the 205? (laughs) I don't know. I just think that'd be really, like, a funny... Because there is no governing body of 205 Live, is there? No. No, apparently not. Is it technically Kurt Angle? Uh, Yeah, because they're a raw brand, more or less. Yeah, see, th- this whole thing is bananas to me. This whole thing is bananas. Because it, it, it's never, like, I don't know. It's just weird. But, yeah, that that's that would have been my change this week. I would have had Noam Dar lose to the jobber. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, was there anything that we missed? I mean, we had Tony Nese for Cedric Alexander, and that was 
that was certainly a, a fine match. Uh, nice on a roll, by the way. Nice giving the promos. I mean, I, 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 get, I really enjoyed that part too. Yeah, I mean, it, Nice is he, Nice is doing fine. I kind of wish he would do like walk down to the ring and do that with a microphone. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Instead I, of just I, doing no, it for to us. To me, to me, it, 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 I take it as the little promo in the corner that we get to see at home. Like that's our yeah, thing. But, that's our but, thing. And don't think that the people in the first couple roads coming down there uh, can't hear him. <laughs> but see, the thing is, Sorg, when you have that two hundred five live show and the crowd is dead as it is, they could use it. Yep. Yeah, I guess so. They could absolutely use it, especially when he's insulting the crowd. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Especially when he's saying like, all of these people don't look half as good as I do. They only like they they don't look half as good as Cedric even does. Like he's so good. Y- you need a big mic to say that. You know, he was always one of those guys that I always worried because he was, um, you know, and I guess I guess Drew uh, Gulak was kind of in the same vote, but he's he's. Those, but they gave him a megaphone. But he gave him a megaphone instead of help. Um, I mean, Nice was one of those guys that was like really great. Always came out, um, had a personality going out there and everything, but not really a mic guy. And now, hey, I guess he doesn't even need a mic from the way that they're doing things now. Yeah, I know. It just it just seems like he kind of needs it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, all right, but, uh, so but they're doing something with him. Like they're they're, they're doing something. With they're him. moving forward with him for something. So, and I have I have my thoughts. And this is just me playing. I, I the role you usually do of far out playbook. It was like, okay, okay. We're, we're getting a lot of nice these last, last couple of weeks, right? And he's on a roll, and we're heading into SummerSlam. So if Tazawa should win, now Nice could be a contender. So, this is true. I mean, this is a. I, I gotta say, if if Tazawa doesn't win at SummerSlam, they should cancel two hundred five live. Because honestly, <laughs> no, seriously, Neville needs to lose that fucking belt. Yeah, he needs something. There's, they, a, they need there's a lot of people that weekend that need to lose their titles. Absolutely. There are a lot of people that need to lose their belts. I'm not even joking. I'm talking Asuka, Authors of Pain, Neville, Bobby Roode, Brock Lesnar. All those people need to lose their belts. You want to see them shake it up a little bit. Let's Summer shake Club. it up, damn it. Let's shake it up, Sorgatron. Yes. I, I want to see everything get shook. Shooken. The shook and slam. Sh- you want to see shook and slam to go down. Shook and slam. That's hashtag, what I want to see. Hashtag shook and slam. How do I spell hashtag that? Hashtag shook and slam. Mm. All right. Sorg, as we do on this show, where do you rank 205 Lizzle? Three. Easy three. Nothing was bad. Nothing was bad, but three. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think we're gonna be in agreement this, in agreement this week. We're gonna be in agreement um, all the way down the line on this one. Oh, yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, Nelly. Yep. Uh, just wait till we get to it. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it was not, it was not terrible. But this is not a good time for two hundred five live right now. No, absolutely not. It's not. They ended just about all the stories they had within mm-hmm. two weeks of each other, and I'm sorry, the the Jack Gallagher stuff. Where are we going with this? Like, he's just, he's kind of just coming off as a dick now. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, if that's where we're going, Wait, if we're as going far as Gallagher, Gallagher? You think, so, yeah, okay, so Gallagher is, yeah, really coming at him. I, I, I knew you were going to say that. Um, I have no answer for you, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, because this is basically the same feud they had with Arya Davari, but he was just very gentlemanly about it. True, true. Like the gentleman. So this, now we're getting. What does it happen? What and 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 that the fuse that he's had, it takes making fun of him to be the thing that makes him less gentlemanly. Uh huh. Like I, I mean, we almost have to call him Rude Boy Jack Gallagher now. Yeah. Which I mean, I don't know. I I kind of miss the days of gentleman Jack, where we'd have the gentleman's duel. I do. I do. But if it, I mean, if he gets into a more interesting character, then then let's see where it goes. I I guess, but I I thought that could have been like his signature match. Like anytime he has a big feud, like it ends with a gentleman's duel. Because that gentleman's duel match that he had was freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. And I want to see one of those with Brian Kendrick. (laughs) 
Alrighty. Uh, so, Sorg, where can the good people of the internet find you? Sorgatronmedia.com. All the podcasting goodness is there. Sorgatron on the Twitters and the Instagrams. All right. And you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things like Lucha Underground. I occasionally throw some stuff out there about NXT or 205 Live if I'm feeling fancy enough about 